first thing I want to do is I just want to talk a little bit about the stages of mitosis. And we have a really good um, diagram here that I'm going to show you. So an interphase is not actually mitosis. It's part of the cell cycle. But there is going to be a significant amount of cells that are going to stay in interphase. This is where cells stay when they are um, not dividing. So we have three parts of the cell cycle. We have interphase, mitosis, cytokinesis, and then they go back into interphase. So interphase is where the majority of our cells will lie. Uh, I think I forgot to mention this. I'm doing lesson 3.2 on mitosis in biology semester one. The reason I chose to do this is because I've had a lot of students um, confused on the actual plant images of mitosis and being able to differentiate from like almost the cartoony images to what it actually looks like in real life under a microscope. So I thought this might be helpful to review over the stages of mitosis and then go into what it actually looks like in something like a root tip of an onion. Okay. All right. So again, interphase, our chromosomes are going to be hard to differentiate in interphase. So that's going to be our really big um, hint here is that we're going to be looking for non um, distinguishable chromosomes. All right, and now when we get to prophase, we can see a difference between our chromosomes in prophase and our chromosomes in interphase. In prophase, they start to condense, which means that if you think about like a rope and you tie it all up and you just really condense it, that's what it's going to look like for prophase. Also, we have these guys over here, which we call spindle fibers, and they are starting to form, and you can also see the centrioles on starting to go to opposite poles. What I mean by opposite poles is just opposite sides of the cell. Um, Prometaphase is a stage that some scientists use and some scientists do not. Basically what it is, it's an in-between phase of prophase and metaphase. In metaphase, they line up all the way in the middle. In prophase, they're like still in the nucleus. So it's this kind of in-between phase where our spindle fibers are very lined up and our chromosomes are starting to go towards the middle. Um, and then again, in metaphase, they are lined up in the middle. I use M for metaphase for middle. And the easiest two, I think, to um, understand are metaphase and anaphase because M is for middle and A in anaphase is for pulling apart. So if you think of a chromosome like this, they're literally going to opposite poles, pulling apart. Telophase is going to be easy to differentiate because I say the T for telophase is going to stand for two, like we're starting to make two new cells. Um, and so when you see that there's still two cells here, but they're not all the way disconnected, you can see we do not have a split right here. So we have to go into a phase called cytokinesis. Cyto stands for cytoplasm and kinesis stands for the splitting. So we're gonna split the cytoplasm. And so when we go from our two cells we're making and then we actually break them apart and split it during that cytoplasm, that is cytokinesis. Okay, so I just want to kind of review that. There's a little video here that you can watch if you're having trouble with that. All right, so in this activity, what we're going, it's 3.2.1, the stages of mitosis. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a onion root tip, and we're going to look at all the cells inside of a section of an onion root tip. And inside of that, there's going to be cells in various stages of mitosis or in interphase because um, they're going to be dividing at their own rate, okay? So they're going to be rectangular rather than um, circular because in plants we have rectangles and in animal cells are circular. Um, obviously, it's not perfect, but that's a general rule of thumb. So we're going to look in each of these what you would look like a box. Okay, each one of these is its own cell. Um, and they are rectangular because they are plant cells. Okay, the person who came up with the actual naming of the cell named the cell because it looked like actual like prison cells like where monks lived in these monk cells. And so that's how they got their actual name, because they kind of do look like just little cells, okay? 
All right, so estimate how the number of cells you think belong to each phase of the cell cycle, record your data, explain how you decided, what occurs at each stage in mitosis. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. And I'm gonna make this image as large as possible. So if I were you, what I would do is I would make a, um, down here in my box, okay, I'm gonna write interphase with a colon, and then I'm gonna do my PMAP prophase. Sorry, can't type. Metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Okay, um, I'm looking at the instructions on the um, page and it's looking like those are the only ones that we are looking for. Okay, so, the easiest way to do this, obviously, if you look over here on this image, it's kind of confusing because they're kind of split off and blurry a little bit. And that's completely normal. When you look under a microscope, you can really only get a clarified image on the spot you're looking at. So these ones over here on the edge here and a little bit over here are going to be harder to see because they're not um, as magnified. So let's go ahead and pick a uh, a row, if we could call it a row, and let's look through the specific cells and see what we can come up with. Okay, so if we look at this first row right here, do we see any distinguishable chromosomes? Um, for me, that answer would be no. I see a nucleus inside of a cell and I don't see anything else going on. So I'm gonna chalk that up as um interface okay so that's one in interface i'm just gonna do tally marks that makes more sense um, um we'll just do ones okay right here in the second line do we see any type of chromosomal activity if we do it's very hard to see they're indistinguishable we're going to chalk that up as another interface all right, now let's go down to the third one. I don't see any distinguishable activity here, so I'm gonna chalk that up again as interphase. Now you may be starting to see a pattern that the majority are going to be an interphase because like I said, the majority of cells life is spent in interphase. That's where the growth happens, that's where we have DNA synthesis, and that's where we prepare for cell division, and that's where most of it's gonna happen. Okay, um, let's look down here at this four cell. I still would say that's indistinguishable chromosomes. So we're gonna stay with that being interphase as well. Okay, now we've got some fun stuff. Okay, so this cell is a little bit longer. I don't want you to be confused and split it off here because that's what a lot of us like to do. And we would say, oh, that's indistinguishable. But no, this is all one cell. So we see two sets of chromosomes literally going to opposite poles if i could show you with my fingers okay so they're going to opposite poles so we have what we have here is called anaphase so anaphase where they are pulling apart so we're going to chalk that up for one anaphase Woohoo! we got a different one okay now let's go here now look at this um nucleus versus like this nucleus do i see a little bit more action going on here I would say I see a distinguishable um, parts, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and say that is gonna be the first stage of mitosis, which is prophase. All right, if we go down again, we have another anaphase, which is my chromosomes pulling apart. Okay, so I'm gonna chalk that up for anaphase. Um, I want to kind of show you some different ones, so that way this is more um, easier for you to follow when you're listening to this recording. Let's look for um, let's look for a metaphase. Look right here at this cell right here. What do we notice about our chromosomes? They are all lined up in the middle, so we're going to chalk that one up right here as metaphase for middle. Okay. So we're gonna say that is metaphase, which is middle. I wanna see if I can find you a telophase. Okay, I'm gonna chalk this one up. Oh, this one looks good over here. 
you see how this cell is very elongated right here? The nucleus there. I'm going to chalk that one up as telophase because the two cells are starting to elongate. And the only reason we would have that long of a cell is because they're about to split off in cytokinesis. So if you see something that looks like that, where the cell nucleus is so elongated, it's going to be trying to make two, trying to make two new cells, okay? Um, and so that's one that is in telophase. So, so far, I think I have gone through and showed you at least one of each of the type of phases that we're looking for. Okay, so the next part of the assignment and the part that some of us forget is explain how you made this decision and describe what occurs at each phase of mitosis, okay? So, how did we make our decision? So we made it based off of evidence that we know from prior knowledge in lesson 3.2 on what happens in each stage. So we picked anaphase because they were pulling apart. We picked this one as metaphase because it's together. We picked this one as interphase or this one is interphase, 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 because the chromosomes are indistinguishable. Any of these ones are gonna be prophase, 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 because they are very distinguishable. I can see my chromosomes condensed inside of there. And then we had only like, I can only see a few in telophase, which is where our cell would be elongated. This one may be close, remember they're barely connected, so almost cytokinesis. So we braced our decision based upon what we know happens in each phase. And then it says, describe what occurs at each phase of mitosis. So during interphase, our chromosomes are unwound. They are indistinguishable, okay? Our cell is gonna go through a major period of growth during this time. During prophase, our chromosomes start to coil up. We see distinguishable chromosomes. During um, metaphase, our chromosomes are gonna line up during in the middle of the cell. Anaphase, they're going to pull apart. And then telophase, we start to have two new cells still connected by the cytoplasm. And last but not least, we have cytokinesis, which splits the cytoplasm, I like to say. And then the cells go back into interphase because it is all a cycle. Okay, so the cell is never going to come out. It's always going to stay in that cycle. Um, so this should help, hopefully, with um, understanding the stages of mitosis and actually understanding it from an actual organism where we can look at. And onion root tips are really, really common um, in what we use in science to look at mitosis because they're easier to see and there's a lot of different stages in the root tip. Um, so since there's nobody on here, I'm going to go ahead and close this meeting. If you have any questions about this assignment, I would love to share it. I will have um, one of our teacher coaches send it to me and we can go ahead and I can send it to you if you have any problems. I hope this was helpful and please let me know if you have any further questions. Again, when we're talking stages of mitosis, if we look at the cartoon images, they're easy to learn that way. But when we actually move into the actual stages with an actual organism, they can get confusing. But if you just try and wrap your mind around the fact that um, it is the same thing, it's just not as clear and concise and try and look at the cells as a whole, you can see it. All right, so if you have any other questions, please feel free to email me at jenna.harper at graduationalliance.com or feel free to reach out to me via chat message. If not, I will send this video out um, when I get it from my teacher coach. Thanks so much, have a great day. Happy New Year.